Right, this is our list of, of speakers. Um, we, we're, we're going to have to, uh, we, we've had some changes. Steve Stead is not here. Unfortunately, Steve is, is ill. He couldn't make it. Uh, I'm here. Priscilla will be come up. Tuna is unable to make it because of visa problems, but we have someone to, to read uh, his script. Uh, all our other speakers are here and available, and they're asked to show one slide and talk for five minutes or less. And then on the basis of that, then we'll hopefully that create some discussion. So what they were asked to do was give a view of what they think uh, a way of introducing uh, digital media as a mechanism to facilitate our knowledge as a community. So we, we deliberately gave them no information about what that was because uh, we, want to, we want to expose what people think knowledge is. Um, I started with this, this particular one. This is a, uh, um, it's actually more of a value chain and because I'm no good at PowerPoint, it should actually be in a loop and these arrows should feed into each other. <laughs> but basically, I said there's seven steps of uh, knowledge curation and I've just conventionally put them as research, prospect, uncover, transform, archive. Uh, but the knowledge is spread across assets, capabilities, competencies, knowledge bases, i.e. databases or something like that, and communities of practice. So for my knowledge map, for I, by the way, my, I was a knowledge broker from International Corporation for many years. Uh, so if I'm using jargon, just put your hand up and say, what, what are you on about? Um, I've tried to emphasize that knowledge is in people not in databases. You have data and information in those databases, and knowledge resides in embodied practice and in people and in communities. So part of the mediation I want to talk about is how we find out where that information is, where are those communities. And because that red space we referred to earlier, that fragmentation, how do we capture that information and tell people how to get to it? Not necessarily what it is, uh, there might be restrictions on it, but I'm, 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 I'm trying not to be too prescriptive. So in these spaces, in my mind, with these overlaps between types of knowledge and the, these things, assets, capabilities, things, these are uh, knowledge possibility spaces. So you all may have, or probably will have, completely different views of it. So what I'm hoping, and John is hoping, is we will gradually you'll say that's rubbish, the world looks like this. So we've asked our speakers to come up and uh, first of all we'll have Priscilla who is starting with the burning platform, what happens when things go wrong and why do we, why do we need these digitally mediated knowledge maps to access the, the community and the knowledge in our communities and the databases.